Hi guys, it's Bob from Greybeard Models. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, sorry for the delay. Uh, things have been going along nicely with the truck, um, it, but some of the some of the things to do are sort of letting things dry for periods of time, so there's not a lot to do. You know, I'm sort of stuck. So um, anyway, we've been moving along nicely with the diorama, and uh, the truck I've got through some stuff as well. And uh, it's all coming together nicely, but it's slow. Uh, but then, my apologies for that. Um, I'm not a fast worker um, on on models. I do take my time. And uh, there you go. Anyway, let's get over to the bench, and uh, I'll show you what we've got. Right, so I uh, decided on going with the the sort of wrought iron gate effect thing. So I've got two of the parts from from uh, the mini art building accessories kit and created this by taking one and cutting off all the, the spears at the top and then cutting the square bits at the bottom off and then mating the two. Whoop, sorry, hit the camera. But yeah, mating the two halves. Um, and I've got those together and now all I've got to do is um, decide on mounting hinges and which will be on I think on this side and then on this side I'll take this little nub off and this little nub off and then just use this section here to create like a gate latch or, or something like that or scratch build that and then get the thing painted so that that will be the the gate between the two two walls um so we get back on to the i'll get back to show you this when it's when it's sort of in situ um it should be some fun you know scratch building hinges and and whatnot so anyway be back with you in a second right so that's the first sort of mock-up of the wall sort of give you a full sort of idea of what it's going to look like so the next stage will be to sort of transfer it over to the actual base itself and start laying out the the foundations and the the, the sort of earth stuff. Um, but I think that looks really neat. Uh, I think that'll come a, come across quite nicely once I start adding more detail. So let's move on. And then uh, right, so the two two walls and post truck's going to sit sort of there i'll put some masking tape down that's to stop the rear part which is going to be sort of like grass earth that sort of thing coming over to this side and then as soon as that's all set then this side's going to be tarmac so that it's it's some sort of road surface um so the truck will be pulled into the side of the road doing a bit of uh, maintenance work I've got the the figures as previously described um, so it's all sort of coming together so right so moving swiftly on right so what I've done now is <coughs> excuse me um, obviously got the path in place there just a little path going in through the gate I've taken the gate off because that's got to be painted and I've surfaced um, this the road surface with um, the, whoop, the AK asphalt. Um, bloody good stuff this is. Um, basically spread it out on the surface. I used a spatula trowel thing. I think it's for for sort of anyone who who needs a tool like this but yeah got a few of those different sizes um, put the surface down and then just gently got it um, a little bit wet and then gone over it with the trowel just to sort of smooth out all the rough bits I don't mind the texture um, and I don't mind the fact that it's not perfectly flat um, just gives it a bit more character so that's that's all of that in place and I've done the, 
the earth bits at the back as well as as you can see um, so then what will come in now um, and we start putting um, the foliage and stuff on there and paint the paint the path up um, but I've got a whole stack of foliage left from my expeditions into model railways so I'm going to use some of that this is going to be sort of a, like a coarse overgrown sort of area you know brambles maybe um, and then I'm going to have some foliage there just to, just to camouflage the ends of the walls um, so it's not like dead straight um, depends really um, once all the surface is done I'm going to take the masking tape off and put the sides of the display stand in place just to see what that looks like it might be that I'll just leave those ends as they are it's it's a bit of artistic license if you like um, but then I need to put some foliage in on the walls and and then start putting the characters if you like you know the vehicles and the characters in place just to make up the scene and uh, this is this is my sort of background display board that I use it, it, it's good for giving perspective there um, <clears throat> so we might do something similar with the back sheet of the display case I'm not sure yet but I'm working on that so anyway enough of that let's get on Ooh. Don't hit the camera, Bob. And now finally getting some of the bits together uh, just to make sure everything all sort of lines up. Um, and adding some foliage to the background. So, you know, pushing on. Well, this is as far as I've got so far. Um, I know it's been slow progress, but a lot of it has been a little bit of experimentation, a little bit of additional sort of bits and pieces, but it's sort of coming along really nicely. I'm really pleased with it so far. Um, what have I got to do? Well, it needs a matte varnish anyway, um, and a couple of the figures just need a little bit of touching up. But uh, apart from that, it's nearly there. So uh, if you've got this far and watched this far, thanks for watching. Um, I hope you've enjoyed what you've seen. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.